This is ANN News Brief. Good morning. I am Olajimoke Olatunji. Tragedy in Uganda over the weekend as more than two dozen persons died in a ferry accident on Lake Victoria close to the capital, Kampala. Police say the vessel was carrying at least 100 persons partying on a cruise ferry when the vessel sank on Saturday. Local media reports say some well-known individuals were on the ferry. Police officials have told a foreign news agency that the boat was overloaded and that it was bad weather at the time. Police say more than 20 persons have been rescued, but many are still missing. Some of the lucky ones that have been rescued include a prince from Uganda's largest traditional kingdom of Uganda, a musical artist, Irina Kumbiru. Many of those on board are said to have had no life jacket and two small fishing boats that had tried to help in rescue efforts were also reported to have been overloaded. They sank as well. Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Ngagwe, has reported over the weekend the 94-year-old former president, Robert Mugabe, is ill and can no longer walk. He also said Mugabe has been receiving treatment in Singapore for two months now for an undisclosed illness. Ngagwe said despite Mugabe's inability to walk, he was feeling better and should return to Zimbabwe within a week. Former President Mugabe has led Zimbabwe during its fight for independence and became its prime minister once that was achieved. He later became president until his ouster by the army a year ago after 37 years in power. Ngagwa has promised state assistance to the former president in restoring his health. The government is also reported to be paying for Mugabe's medical bills. Ngagwa said the government is caring for Mugabe because he's a founding father of the nation of Zimbabwe. We'll be back after this message. If you know if it's go internet hey. or follow for Twitter, you know if it's not for Tosen hey. or get it for Tosen. Now because you the use of Palasa, hey. your phone no the answer. See me see Wahala, ah, my brother. to a smartphone today and get double data for six months on any MTN data bundle you buy. Simply purchase a smartphone from any store anywhere in Nigeria or bring your current smartphone from any network. Insert your MTN SIM card to start enjoying your double data bonus. Offer is open to all new and existing MTN subscribers. Join the largest smartphone movement today. Make it up for your hand. Kenya is hosting on Monday in Nairobi the first ever sustainable blue conference that would focus on the environment. Close to two dozen world leaders are attending the conference, which is receiving global support because of its environmental focus. Many environmentally oriented civil society organizations are also attending. This event is happening on three continents, Africa, Asia and North America. Canada and Japan are co-hosting the event and more than 17,000 persons from more than 180 countries are taking part in the conference. World bodies are also participating, including the African Union, United Nations Organs, the Commonwealth, the World Wildlife Fund, International Maritime Organization, the World Bank, Afrik Zimbank and many others. Sustainable Blue Economy is a marine-based economy that provides social and economic benefits for current and future generations and is based on clean technologies, renewable energy and circular material flows. That's CNN News Break. Thanks for watching. For details on this and other stories, visit our website in Africa.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Africa TV. Instagram and Twitter at Africa TV. I am Olajimoke Olatunji.